All right, guys, we're at the beach today. We're looking for some flounder. Gonna try to catch flounder off the beach. Right now, I'm putting on some gulp onto a bucktail. And we're gonna just cast around. The conditions look pretty good. It's nice and cloudy. And uh, the waves aren't too big and the water's pretty clean, so. That all seems pretty good. And we're just gonna get started here. Hopefully the flounder are here. I haven't really heard any reports from the beaches, but I imagine they are here. So we're gonna see what we can catch. Well, let's see what happens. Running low on gulp right now, so. There's a good chance we'll be using plugs or soft plastics by the end of the day here. Just saw a bass. I haven't had any bites yet, but I just saw a bass right in the wash. Probably eating some sand fleas. See if we can catch them. It was a pretty small bass that came up onto the beach. Oh, where was a the bite? I'm throwing 10 pound braid, 25 pound fluoro, half ounce jig. Half ounce jig is about as heavy as I'll throw. Might go down to 3 8 ounce, but yeah, if we catch some small stripers and some flounder, like I'd consider this a good day. We're just looking to bend the rod, you know, not looking for anything crazy. Keeper fluke, you know, I'm hoping for like a decent fluke. That's about, oh, there, dang, this came right off. It's that small bass I was just talking about. Right, I've given it an hour and have not had a single fluke bite, so if I don't get anything soon, I'm gonna leave. I'm just at this one spot here. It does look pretty good. I've just been walking. I don't know, right here looks fishy. So yeah, if we don't get anything here, then I'm gonna move, try a different beach. See if we can get on some fish somewhere. Might not be any fluke here. Might not be feeding. Or maybe I just suck. One of the three things. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, see if we can get one. Probably a bluefish. I see that bluefish tail. Yep. To be expected. Get the old bluefish. Yeah. That's a start. Bluefish. I'm not psyched about this. It is slow. The bluefish. Oh no. I think the bluefish have moved in thick. Started getting a lot of bites in the last like 10 minutes. Missed the first couple, and uh, oh, it's a flounder, all right. Small fluke. 
Yeah, that's the first flounder. Yeah, I missed a few bites. Oh, look at that. I missed a few bites. But I uh, wasn't sure if they were flounder or bluefish. Thought they were flounder, but then I got the bluefish, so I don't know. Getting some bites at dusk, though. Definitely starting to catch some fish. Or get some bites. Definitely turned on. There was no fluke earlier. Now we're getting some. I think it's a fluke. It hit way at the end of the cast. Yeah, it might be a blue fish, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, some other fish though. Oh, it's a flounder. Yeah, close to keeper size, eh, keeper size. Let's see what he measures real quick. That's a 20 incher. That's pretty cool. Kinda had lost hope. But no, that's a that's a solid flounder. Yeah, alright, let's keep fishing. The bite is on right now. I'm gonna leave him up here. See if we can get some more. Alright, the bite is on right now. It's crazy because I didn't have a single flounder bite for the first hour and a half, two hours that I was here. Look, there's oh, there, there was another one, and now they're they're biting every cast. They like dusk right now. Good fluke. Oh yeah, that fish was 18 and a half inches, another keeper. It's, it's all right. Thought for sure he was short, but, but I measured him anyway, and uh, he had just, you know, 18 and a half. It is definitely slow, like we're not getting too many bites, but you know, two keeper fluke is not bad. Not too bad. Maybe we can get another. Still got a little bit of daylight. All right, so I've been using this uh, Shimano Saros 2500. And that's not like an ideal surf reel. I think generally you want a sealed reel for fishing the beach. Just because of the sand and salt water. This thing's not sealed, but generally try to keep it out of the sand. 10 pound braid, 25 pound floor today. I was thinking if there's bluefish around. You know, didn't want to go too light knowing that there's bluefish around. Oh, there's a fish. Oh. Let's see, it could be another keeper. I don't know. I mean, it could be short, could be a keeper. We'll see. I've only got three flukes so far and two of them were keepers so it's a pretty good ratio definitely dropped a short like there's a short short fish oh no this rod's pretty pretty heavy for throwing a 3 8 ounce jig i'm only using it because it's 8 6 and it's just gonna allow me to cast a little further. But 
I could be using my seven foot rod out here. Wasn't sure what was gonna happen out here, what I'd encounter. This rod is getting it done, so. Uh, I'm gonna take my last cast here. Haven't had a bite in a little while. There was like 30 minutes of action. And before that it was dead and after that it was dead. I don't know. Managed two keepers, two shorts, and a couple small bluefish. Missed a bunch of fish during that half hour bite. But I think we're done. I don't know, not much to this video. Used a pink gulp, I don't know, I tried, tried a bunch of different things when I got here. I don't know, it didn't really seem like anything was working. The flounder were just shut off and then they turned on, you know, for a half hour and then they shut off again. Interesting. Anywhere you go, there's always going to be like a better bite at a certain tide. Today it was, you know, incoming tide. Yeah, I don't know. Got some weeds on here. All right, yeah, that's all we got. Until next time.